Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we have a share your best December Bolo. Um, so these items come from members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I basically put this post up. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. In the announcements or the featured section and invite people to share their bolos. So what they do is they do a screenshot of the item they sold. They put where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for, which is kind of in line with everything I do on my channel. Um, I teach about bolo items. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out my other videos. Um, we're gonna go through and I'm just gonna share with you what they posted. I'm gonna be reading from my computer and then I'm gonna pop up screen shares of the picture so you guys can actually see it. What's great about this is you know that the item sold, you know it was paid for, you know it was a good sale and you know where they got it and what they paid for it. So that makes it even better. So um, this is anonymous. I do not tell you who posted it unless they're a Bolo Buddies member. If they are a Bolo Buddies member, then I will share either their YouTube channel or their eBay store. I just do shout outs for them because they're members. Um, if you wanna join memberships, there's a join button down by the thumbs up. And um, to be featured or get the shout out, it's $4.99 a month. But that's this is just bonus. The main thing for that is you get to be in a featured members video that looks like this. Definitely go check that out. But again, my channel's free. This is just something I do for perks, perks for people who wanna become members. No pressure at all. If you're trying to grow a YouTube channel or if you want your eBay store, shout it out, you can join. If not, just share a bolo and I'll share it anonymous, anonymously and you'll get to see your item in the video and it's just super fun. All right, you guys, so the first item. Got this at an estate sale for $8. It is a uh, vintage green glass art deco mid-century modern decanter set with six glasses. How cool is that? Sold for $55 plus shipping. Okay, so the next one is my December Bolo. Um, I picked these up at an estate garage sale for $3 each. So I've got $9 in these. Um, I sold for the price in the photo, which is $245. Um, I do have a video of how these work. So these are plush. And if you push one and then you push the next one, they interact and sing together. It is super, super cool. Hallmark also makes like little snowmen that do this that are a big money bolo also. I've sold those in the past, but um, I was super, super excited to find these. So I, they're interactive singing, dancing, Christmas plush carolers. They are rare and hard to find. Um, if you want to see how these work, you can check out my reseller testing Bolo products. I have a demo video over there, and that's what this channel looks like. I'm also doing uh, live working hangouts over there. So if you guys want to hang out and watch and see how I list items, I pull up screen, I like, um, not screen shares. Yeah, a screen share, but it's of me listing. It's not like a pop-up. So if you guys want to check that out, I'd love to have you come over. Oh my goodness. Disneyland Resort's Stitch Ears Santa Hat. You guys, oh my goodness, look at this. $181 for that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And it sold on Mercari. Um, just, I don't even know if I would have looked twice at that. Are you kidding me? Wow. Says I found it at Desert Industries. I paid $1.50 and it sold for $181. You know, I know people say like Mercari is a garage sale app. I do not agree with that at all. I sell big money bolos over on Mercari all the time. If you guys are not on Mercari, I highly recommend it. There's a link down in the description um, where you'll get a coupon if you sign up and then they send me a coupon, blah, blah, blah. I, you get one when you list and you get one um, when you sell $100 worth. I think you end up getting 30 and then they give me a coupon when you buy something and then when you sell $100 also, which is amazing. Um, paid $25 at an estate sale. Are you ready for this? Because they thought it was fake. Got it off. I can't say this word. I'm going to try really hard. Got it authenticated. You know what I'm saying. Um, and it sold the next day. Um, he got it 
that word authenticated at legit grail i don't know what that is i don't know if it's a website but here is the bag you guys it sold for 500 dollars. he got it for 25 they thought it was fake he knew it was real but i'm going to tell you this guy is a bolo finder so whenever i like see something he posts i'm like i know it's going to be big money because he is just amazing but anyway um okay the next item comes um let's see came from bought mid-october at first monday in canton texas okay it doesn't say where she got it i paid 20 dollars for it vintage blenco amethyst ombre wine champagne glasses set of 10 oh i would not want to ship those uh sold for 92 dollars and 39 cents and this is what they look like this was at a yard sale for a dollar sold for 225 plus shipping best of all i picked it up at the end of the day so who knows how many other people rocked right past it um, this comes from Bolo Buddies member Jack's Treasures. This is their YouTube channel. Definitely go and give them a sub. And look at this picture. It says, um, it's really small, Auth Salvador Dolly, or maybe it's authentic. Maybe A-U-T-H is abbreviation for authentic. Um, etching Plate Collectors Guild with C-O-A. How cool is that? At a garage sale. Oh my goodness. Paid $5 at the Goodwill. Oh my goodness, you guys. You guys, I'm loving this. Um, Skelimals, Skel, no, I'm sorry, Skel Animals plush backpack. Jack the Rabbit stuffed tote bag purse. $224.99 free shipping. How cool is that? <gasps> Never seen that. Um, I sold a plush backpack. It was a raccoon, and I think mine went for, it was either 75 or 90 I can't remember. It's in one of my videos. But I got mine for a dollar at a garage sale, and it wasn't any fancy brand or anything. It was just a raccoon plush. Um, I'll try to remember and pop it up. I got this at a yard sale for 50 cents, had it listed for 100 took a best offer of 80 It is a vintage 80s BF Goodrich T slash A radius tires. It's a trucker snapback hat. Now, can anybody tell me why this hat went for so much? If you don't know, let me know in the comments if you do know. This will be fun just kind of to see what everybody says. But I do have a video on trucker hats where I tell you things to look for. This is what the video looks like. Definitely go check it out. But in the meantime, let me know in the comments what makes this hat special. Bought at the Goodwill for 99 cents, sold for full asking price of $27, sold within a week of listing. Bunnies by the Bay collectible, Elise doll, cloth, burnet, bunny sash. And this is what it looks like. A friend of mine was moving. I asked if she had any VHS movies unopened. She brought me a ton of stuff, including this newspaper for free. It took two months to sell. My store is always 15% off. I had sent out offers to watchers with no luck. Someone bought it for full price of $127.50. Um, I don't know. I should probably do a video on old newspapers, but I think they are so hit and miss. Um, and I do think that they are probably also more of a long tail item, but um, the condition of this looks to be, and I mean, it looks really, really good. Um, so somebody had had put this away and hung on to it. So a collector has picked this up. Okay, I compiled this list of a few recent sales I've had from one lot purchase. I had bought a lot of 40 to 50 pieces of dollhouse miniatures and Barbie accessories on auction from Picky Nikki for $20. Um, wow. Um, so I don't know, that's, I know that she goes on to certain YouTube channels and sells things because I've heard, I've seen her on channels, but, um, so I think it was a YouTube auction for 20 bucks. So let's say about 50 cents each in my cost. Here's a little tip, little things sell. I agree 100%. I love smalls. They're bread and butter, but they add up. Um, they are also super easy to store and ship. Agree, agree. Um, you're also... You'll also always make more selling items individually than in lots if you have time and patience to do so. 
Also, if you source Barbie doll items, don't discard anything. Small paper items, the littlest plastic doodad, tiny strip of fabric. It is a Barbie belt, a headband. The things that are smallest and look most discarded are often the ones that are hard to find and worth more. Specifically shown here, a Barbie phone and paper babysitter phone number list, a couple of little Kittles pieces, and the rest are about one inch pieces of paper of cardboard books. Nikki, I owe you and will pay you back with more purchases in the future. <laughs> um, that is awesome. Okay, so funny. Um, so I'm gonna pop this up. It's a whole bunch of small listings. Um, I'm gonna lean in so I can read it. It says 1963 dollhouse miniature phone, $20. Little Kittle baby diddle crib, $16.99. Little Kittle's nurse Florence doll stroller, $26.99. Vintage 1964 Ideal Tammy Dollhouse Miniature Weekly Newspaper Magazine, $14.99. Vintage 1965 Mattel Barbie How to Design Your Own Fashion Dollhouse, $20. Vintage National Yo-Yo Champions Guide Dollhouse Miniature, $8.99. Um, let's see. So I don't know what that adds up to, but that's amazing. She paid $20 for everything, and I'm guessing there was a whole bunch more that's still listed. Okay. I got this free at a yard sale, and people didn't want it. It's a Budweiser rotating sign from the 50s. It features a girl smoking and a guy staring at her. I couldn't test it for a couple of months because I didn't have the right plug. I found a plug at another yard sale last Saturday. We tested it, posted a video on YouTube with links in the description of the eBay listing, and it sold within a day for full asking price. You guys, it sold for $235. Um, rotating Budweiser round light. Paid $25, private purchase, sold for full price of $480. It's a vintage Reggie Miller Authentic Champion Indiana Pacers jersey. Um, HOF sewn, made USA. Paid $5 at the Goodwill. Nice return. It is a vintage Dresden, Germany Christmas Angels, eight porcelain, heavily band, plain, heavenly band, <clears throat> excuse me, plain instrument. Sold for $54.75 and the buyer paid shipping. And on all those doll house items, the buyer paid shipping on those also. Purchased a 20 ounce um, Santa Face mug in a box for three at a local thrift store, discovered five vintage mini Santa face mugs packed in brown paper inside the larger one. This is just the Santa face ceramic mug, 20 ounce, sold for $12. And then the vintage miniature ceramic mug sold for 48. Very cool. I bought this at a church rummage sale for $4, had it listed for 150 and took a best offer of 120. It was sealed, but I disclosed that the box was creased on one side. Um, so it's a Lego Techniques. You guys, anytime you can find new old stock Legos, even if the box is damaged, I mean, if you can get it cheap, buy, buy, buy. Legos are awesome. Okay, this one, I bought three toner Scarlett O'Hara dressers and dresses and one collectible Barbie for $100. This one toner in the mist outfit sold in less than 10 minutes for $159.95 plus shipping. I don't know what toner is, T-O-N-N-E-R. So I, I don't know if it's a doll or what. So definitely interesting. This next item comes from Bolo Buddies member, Got Junk in Our Trunk. And um, I always wanna say got junk in my trunk, <laughs> but it's not that. Um, she is a bolo finder. Check out her YouTube channel. This is what it looks like. And she says, I source this from my favorite place, the side of the road. <sighs> so cost, of course, was free. Took a best offer of $150 plus shipping. It's a vintage glass prism drop garland chandelier parts. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. 35 piece and medallion sold as is. It looks like it's missing a medallion. Um... Wow. Beautiful. I don't even know chandelier parts. I don't know, but it's beautiful. And it was free. Gotta love that. Um, 
Let's see. Paid $5 last week, sold as is on eBay, as I have no speaker to test it. And it sold for $550 untested, you guys. Wow. Um, it's a Sansui, S-A-N-S-U-I, 100A tube stereo. And this is what it looks like. Was my brother's G.I. Joe red hair, missing hand, buttons from jacket, and cracked. Even nude, they go for good money. Also sold the African-American one with the lifelike hair earlier this year for $84.99 plus shipping. Red-haired African-American sold for $289.99 plus shipping. Both sold on Etsy. Here are the pictures that she um, supplied for us to look at. How amazing is that? Wow. Got this in another fashion doll at an auction for $10. Sold in four hours. Um, it looks like this is uh, Canada, in Canada. So I don't know what the conversion is, but they sold it uh, for $350. Delivery 40 discount. Uh, so it looks like the buyer was all in for $371.25, but that is Canada, Canadian currency. So I don't know what that equates to in the US, but it is a Merry Quaint Daisy doll, mint in box. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. And this is his channel, so be sure to go check him out. And he picked this up at a Polish, or I'm sorry, picked up this Polish Pottery Texas Birdhouse at a yard sale for $5. Sold it on eBay for 50 and the buyer paid shipping. So this is what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? Hmm. I don't think I, I think I would have walked right past it. The next one comes from Bolo Buddies member Flippin' It Good. And he does a lot of retail arbitrage. If you guys want to learn about retail arbitrage like Ross, um, what's the other one? Burlington. He finds shoes and clothes. And I'm going to tell you, like, this guy knows what he's doing because he flips this stuff for crazy money. He paid 50 for these and he took an offer of 250 plus shipping. Uh, they are Calvin Klein women's size eight black Western Claire leather boots. And I'm guessing he got these either from Ross or Burlington. He didn't say, but um, yeah, somebody put great example of when it pays to pay up. Yep. He will pay up for things um, when, because he knows they sell. It's, it's just amazing. He really just has an eye for retail arbitrage. Bought at my local cancel th cancer thrift store for $2 about a month ago. Listed for $125 and accepted an offer of $106 on Poshmark. Um, if you guys are not selling on Poshmark, I do have a coupon uh, invitation link down in the description if you guys want to join. I think you get $10 and I get $10 a coupon to buy. Um, I think you have to buy something before I get the coupon, but I think you guys get it when you sign up. But anyway, this is just a sweater. I'm not sure what brand it is. Um, I can't see that because it's on Mercari. Um, oh, uh, Be Carried Away, one of the moderators who also has an amazing YouTube channel and is a Bolo Buddies member, go check her out, asked her, great sale. What's the brand, Michelle? It's not showing in the picture. Oh, sorry, it's Kate Spade. All right, so Kate Spade. Recently bought an entire room of toys from an estate sale cleanout. I have about $2 into this, sold in a little under a week for full asking plus shipping. You guys, it's a vintage My Little Pony 1987 soft sleepy newborn sweet dreams G1 with diaper. Um, $250 that this sold for. And um, she is a Bolo Buddies member and it's Toy Attic. Oh, and she has been a huge support to my channel since I think almost the beginning because I think she's awesome and she's helped me out so many times with like identif identifying like certain like I sent her some pictures of some My Little Ponies and she's always so helpful and kind and she has an amazing channel she just hit 3,000 subscribers so go check out Toy, Toy Attic right here and give her a sub thanks you guys all right Bought on Mercari for $60 with shipping. Uh, listed for $500 on eBay. Took a best offer of $400 within a few days of listing. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is a Disney Traditions Jim Shore Cat Birdhouse Alice in Wonderland. Look at this, you guys. $400.
Wow. So she bought it on Mercari and sold it on eBay. Bought it on Mercari for 60, sold it on eBay for 500. You got, um, this one comes from Be Carried Away, who I was just telling you about. She um, has Be Carried Away on YouTube and she's also a moderator of the group. So show her some love. Um, this group gets a little crazy. Uh, paid $7.99 at the Salvation Army, sold it for $79.99 to Japan. Coats have a great return because buyers will pay up. I always check the black coat aisle. Great items often get overlooked in this aisle. This is a $300 Cole Haan um, hooded jacket. So I don't know if it was new with tags or not or if it just retailed for that, but this is what it looks like. And it's one of those down feather puffer coats, so those always do well. Paid $2 at a Goodwill, sold after 29 days, listed for best offer of 100 When I found it, I thought it was so unusual and really neat. Looked it up and was shocked they sell for so much. As a side note, the mugs with art featuring this artist are bolos. Do a Terapeak search for Bunny Matthew mugs. Bunny Matthews. Vintage 1985 Bunny Matthews tray. Vic and Nat's um, New Orleans... Home, Holmes, D.H. Holmes. So I don't know. It's It looks like it's a tray and it sold for a hundred bucks. Oh, here's the bigger picture. So I'll pop it up. Got this cup for $1 about a year ago. I loved the beautiful swans. German, rare, great find, or great find, great sale. Um, so paid a dollar and sold it for $29.97. It is a, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It looks like that, um, but it says West Germany. The next item comes from Reselling with Honey. She has a YouTube channel. She is a Bolo Buddies member. Here is her channel. Definitely go check her out. She is a big, big money Bolo finder. I'm looking at my alerts. I'm getting some alerts here from Poshmark. So I'm watching that. Somebody's adding stuff to their bundle. We'll see if they buy it. Um, paid $25 at an estate sale. They were completely yellow from cigarette smoke. So I took them apart and cleaned them, listed at a high price, and then stuck them on sale after two weeks. Sold. $202.30, pair of Dorothy Thorpe Lucite Pretzel Twist Candlesticks, Hollywood Regency MCM. Those are amazing. Purchased in a huge box lot at an estate sale, 150 plus items, price per item 61 cents, sold within three days for full price of $65.99 plus shipping. Um, Jerger, J-E-R-G-E-R, -E -E I think. Chess Champion Clock, timer made in Germany, Germany, brushed gold front vintage. How cool is that? I found this in a huge cluttered workbench at an estate sale and it was so crusty looking, I put it down and kept digging. In the process, I ended up covering it up about 15 minutes and 10 feet down the workbench later, I came across the owner's manual and decided to check the comps on the model number. Sold comps for parts repair only were about 200 and up. Tested working started at 500. When I picked my jaw up off the floor, I rushed back over to where I had seen the radio and let me tell you, things were flying as I tried to find where I'd left it. Bottom line, mine didn't work and was missing the faceplate. Nonetheless, sold on auction for $157.50. Buyer paid within minutes and he purchased it for $4. And I got to tell you, I love the story. I just love it. And this is what it looks like. Here's mine. Took two tries, but I am pleased as punch that Buki has a new home in Texas. He was a Goodwill Benz find in Pennsylvania, so he cost about 75 cents. He sold for $317. It's a Build-A-Bear African Springbok. Um, rare rugby mascot bookie from South Africa. And um, if you guys have not seen my Build-A-Bear um, Build workshop bolo video, the top 10 to look for, here's what it looks like. Definitely go check it out. Some of them will amaze you. This one was not on the list. I've never seen this one before. So now you have 11 Build-A-Bear to look for if you go watch that video. Most unexpected vintage car polish from 1995. Um, opened and half full, still brought 55.25. Shipping um, paid 2.99 at the Salvation Army. I'm happy with 55, but some rare car polishes and waxes can sell in the thousands of dollars. Wow, to car collectors. I learned that retail price for the most expensive brand of car wax in the world is $37,000. 
what? Anyway, keep your eye out for car waxes and polishes. Certain brands can bring good money. Definitely an unexpected bolo. This comes from Be Carried Away. One thing that I love about Be Carried Away's channel is she is super detailed and she will give you little dips of information just like that. Um, so definitely check her out. All right. And the brand was Zymol, Z-Y-M-O-L, and it's from 1995. Paid 10 cents at the Goodwill and listed for 350 for longest time, dropped to 300 and took an offer of 210 uh, plus shipping. The season for discounts. <laughs> It's a Nikon DW3 waist level viewfinder for F3 from Japan. Brand new. I still have no idea what any of that means, but this is what it looks like. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know how many bolos that was, but um, definitely go down to the description to check for links to other things I have going on. Um, you can check out my stores. You can check out my Facebook. Um, if you want to be a part of this video, there is a... Um, a link to my Facebook group, just go to the featured um, and announcements section once you get to the Facebook group and there should be a post. Um, I'm just ending all three. I had toys, Christmas and December going on up until tonight. I just recorded all those. Now I got to do all the fun editing, um, but I should be posting your best January here soon. And then I'll probably pick another category. Um, not sure what I'm going to do yet. If you guys have any um, recommendations for future posts, feel free to put them down in the comments. Um, again, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Oh, I have to cut that part out. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.